guys so today I'm doing a tutorial on this look right here so I kind of just went with it in this tutorial um, I didn't really have like a like something in mind I kind of just just like I'm gonna use this eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go with it so I am using the ColourPop eyeshadow in telepathy this is the collaboration with Kathleen lights um, I really wanted to do a tutorial using it because I've been really wanting to play around with it because it is a very different colors so um, it's just a black smoky eye with a pop of bright yellow gold um, I'm also using the Kylie lip kit this is in Dolce K um, so yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already um, and let's get started okay so I'm starting with the um, Mac 24 hour extend eye base and I'm just putting that um, all over my lid to prime so I'm just going to set that um, primer just with some cream colored eyeshadow or any shadow that's close to your skin tone just so the powders and everything blend easier so I'm gonna take a um, morphe mb23 just a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take um, peach smoothie from Makeup Geek and I'm just gonna dust that into the crease for a transition color and I'm going to take um, Frappe from Makeup Geek on the same brush and just kind of dust that as well I want this look to be round not so much like focusing anything in the outer corner. I really want to have like a halo kind of eye today, I'm thinking. So we're just going to go round. Hopefully that works. <laughs> um, I'm going to take on a Morphe M441 brush. I'm taking Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek as well. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. This is all going to help because um, I'm going to take black shadow. So this is all going to help that blend really easy. You have like a kind of gradient effect. Um, I'm going to take black shadow. I'm going to take um, Noir ugh, from the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette on that same brush. The least amount of pop, like a least amount of brushes I can use, the better. So I'm going to take that on the same brush and I'm going to slowly build up the color. I don't want to go straight into like harsh black. And I'm going to focus that on the outer corner first. I want to kind of create a halo effect. So I'm going to focus it on the outer corner first. And then I'm going to take a um, Makeup Geek. There's this pointed crease brush. Just looks like this. And I'm going to take that same color, dust off on the excess, and put that more on the inner corner. I just want this to be as dark as the outer corner. And keep this middle part um, bare. With that same brush, I'm going to take black again, dust off the excess, and put this into the crease. And if it looks messy right now, that's okay, because we're going to blend things out. I'm just kind of doing the placement right now. Back to that Morphe M441, I'm going to take that, just kind of blend everything together. I'm going to go back with um, Cocoa Bear and kind of blend that black with that to kind of marry those colors together. I'm gonna go back with that Makeup Geek pointed um, crease brush and kind of darken that outer and inner corner again because when you blend you kind of lose that intensity and you want to do all the blending first before you put that um, color that we're going to put on the center just so you don't have to blend anything else and don't lose that intensity from the pop of color that's going to be on the center. I'm actually going to take a um, clean brush. This is a Morphe M513 and just kind of blend those with a clean brush. 
actually take a Morphe G20 brush and I'm going to take that same MAC um, primer, the extended eye base, take a little bit on that brush and put that on the center where we're going to place the shadow just so it sticks. This primer is really good for Makeup Geek foil shadows and ColourPop um, shadows. So I'm going to take this color right here. This is Telepathy. This is the um, one that Kathleen Lights did. It's a very intense gold. Um, very intense like yellow gold. So I'm going to take that on that same brush and I'm just going to pack that on first with the brush and then I think I'm going to go in with my finger. These shadows apply better with your finger. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, so you can like automatically see the intenseness <laughs> and I'm gonna take that brush to kind of blend it into the black so it's not just like a stark kind of application I guess. I'm gonna go back with that Makeup Geek um, pointed crease brush. This isn't like finished yet and blend everything kind of with that gold. Take that I'm just kind of going back and forth with the colors so everything kind of blends nicely. I want just like a... I don't like when the halo kind of eye shadows just stay right in the middle because that kind of looks weird on my eye personally. Um, so I kind of just try to blend everything together. So just like that. Super easy. I don't think it's too hard. Um, it's just a few eyeshadows. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I will be back to do the rest okay, of my so face. I went ahead and did um, the other eye off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do the face right now. I look like death. I think it has to do with the black eyeshadow. But <laughs> anyways, um, so I'm taking the Nivea Skin or what is this? The Nivea Post Shape Balm. So I've been using this like every single day and I... Woo! a little bit too much came out <laughs> um, I've been using this like every single day as a primer I wore it on Valentine's Day too and I was wearing my makeup literally all day long and my makeup was still like perfectly intact at the end of the day so I really really like this as a primer I like that you can literally feel your makeup like stick to it because it gets tacky when you rub it in um, so I really like that it really does work as a good primer, so very impressed, very impressed. So for foundation, I've been using the um, Makeup Forever HD sticks a lot lately, or stick, I only have one, a lot lately, so I just kind of straightly put this on my face. This is really full coverage. Um, I would say that this is good for all skin types I guess but I have heard that people with oily skin I don't know if you guys would like it because it does kind of leave like a not dewy but a more not matte finish I guess um, but usually like stick foundations are like kind of dry and like hard to blend but these blend out so nicely and this is full coverage I like this a lot better than the um, regular HD foundation and I'm using a Morphe E6 just to blend this out um, I really like this foundation brush. I feel like it blends everything out so nicely and Yeah, I'm just taking the Maybelline better skin concealer This is like my favorite concealer and I'm just putting that under my eyes to conceal and to brighten I'm also taking that on the bridge of my nose, my cubist bow, and my chin to highlight those areas as well. And I'm just taking a beauty blender to blend that out. I find that using a beauty blender to blend out concealer, for me at least, is a lot better. Just because my under eyes are really dry. So this kind of helps bring the moisture, I guess, back. It doesn't dry it out than like when I use a brush. Oh, by the way, I'm using the shade Ivory in this. And then my... um. Makeup Forever Foundation is in the shade 117 or 
Y225. Now I'm going to set my under eyes. I've been using this lately as well. This is the Wet n Wild, um, what is this, contouring palette. It's like a little duo. This is in the shade Dolce de Leche. And it just looks like this. I've been really liking this to set my under eyes and to contour. It's actually really good. I think it's like $4.99 at Target. I know it's probably cheaper at Walmart because everything's cheaper at Walmart. Taking a Morphe M438 to set my under eyes. I'm just setting my face um, with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in light. And I'm just taking a Real Techniques blush brush for this. And I do this because powders on top of powders blend easier than powder on top of like cream or anything like foundation. It just blends easier. It makes it, I don't know how to explain it. Things blend better on top of it. So like when you do your blush and contour and stuff, it'll just blend seamlessly instead of like sometimes it could be like blotchy. I'm taking today. I'm using the butter bronzer. This is from Physicians Formula. I picked this up um, because Kathleen Lights talked about it. This literally smells like suntan lotion. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like coconut, I, but it reminds me of suntan lotion. <laughs> and this is in the shade bronzer. There's a light bronzer and then there's regular bronzer. I have the regular one. I'm taking an e.l.f. Um, complexion brush. There's like a hair on it. I'm just taking that to bronze up my face. This has like a little bit of a sheen, but it's nothing too crazy. It really just gives like a nice warmth. But this bronzer isn't like too warm either. So I feel like you could even contour with this if you really wanted to. It won't be like a matte contour because there is like a little bit of a sheen, but it, like I said, it's nothing too crazy. So I feel like you could get away with contouring with this. I'm just taking that same Wet n Wild um, contour palette um, and a Morphe M405 and I'm just contouring my cheekbones. I'm also taking that along my forehead as well and my jawline. I'm going to take um, a little angled fluffy brush I'm taking this to contour my nose and I'm taking that under my lower lip as well. For blush, I think I'm going to go with, let's see, I'm going to go with Rockateur. Yeah, Rockateur from Benefit. I just have them depotted. I'm taking that on a Morphe E3. Okay, so right before I was gonna put highlighter on, my camera died. So if the lighting's a little bit different and I have lashes on now, it's because I did them off camera. Um, so I put on Ardell Wispies. Um, I really like these lashes. I wear them all the time. But if you don't wanna put something like this long, the Dodo lashes in the style um, D201 are very similar. They're just a little bit shorter. So if you want something not as long as these ones, then I would try those ones. So anyways, um, back to where I was saying I was gonna put some highlighter on. Um, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Baked Highlighters and this is in the shade Golden Lights and I'm taking a Morphe M501. This is a very pale gold highlighter. It's also really intense, which is why I like it. Yes. But I thought it would go good with this eye since it is pretty gold. It's really nice. It's not chalky either. It's not powdery. Very finely milled. I think because it is baked. Um, but I feel like if you use like a light hand, it wouldn't be like as intense. Look at that. Yes. Um, these are only six dollars at Ulta. If your Ulta carries them, my Ulta that I work at does. So, yes. Yes. But yeah, it is pretty gold. I'm just blending my like blush and stuff all together. Taking my little brush that I always use to highlight my nose. I'm also gonna highlight my inner corners with this. 
as well. Not too much though, because I don't want to take away from like the gold. Also going to take a little bit of that on my brow bone. I like my brow bone to have like a sheen. Nothing too intense, but. I'm also going to take a little bit on my chin because I want to look really glowy as if I don't already over exaggerate my highlight all the time, but whatever. Okay, now that I look like I literally just took a bath in highlight, um, I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm going to take a NYX pencil brush and I'm gonna take Cocoa Bear first and just put that on my lower lash line. I'm debating if I want to put black on my waterline. I never do that because it makes my eyes look really small. Uh, I'll decide afterwards. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the black from the Anastasia palette. Just a little bit. I don't want it to be so black. But I definitely want it to have black. Well, that ship sailed. <laughs> I'm taking um, oh, the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in black velvet, and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line, or my water line. And then I'm taking that same NYX pencil brush to blend. Ah, <laughs> this is why I never put um liner in my lower lash line just because my eyes are so like sensitive all the time and i'm just gonna put some mascara on the lower lash line this is just the maybelline last lash sensation okay so once again the lighting's changed because my camera is being weird right now but i'm just gonna try to use the kylie lip kit this is the dolce k one Let's see how this looks with this. I'm just using the liquid like, lipstick by itself. I actually like the way that this looks. And yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Let me take my hair down. Um, I hope you guys like it. Something very bold. I would say that this is definitely more something nighttime, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave me any comments you have down below. Why do I feel like I look so bright right now? Okay. Anyways, so if you guys have any questions, just leave me some comments down below. Um, I would love to hear you guys' feedback. I also would like to know if you guys what you guys want to see next. Um, I have two looks that I want to do. I have one that's requested a lot, but it looks a lot like my other tutorial I just posted. But I'll put some pictures here. So pick either the brown smoky eye or this look right here that Morphe had reposted me um, in that look. <laughs> um, so yeah, I get a lot of requests on that one. So, but I feel like it looks so similar. But if you guys really want to see a tutorial on it, I will post it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.